The French army, officially the Ground Army French, Armée de Terre MEDT, lit, Army of Land to distinguish it from the French Air Force, Armée de l'Air or Air Army, is the land-based and largest component of the French Armed Forces. It is responsible to the Government of France, along with the other four components of the Armed Forces. The current Chief of Staff of the French Army CEMAT is General Jean-Pierre Bosser, a direct subordinate of the Chief of the Defence Staff CIMA. General Bosser is also responsible, in part, to the Ministry of the Armed Forces for organization, preparation, use of forces, as well as planning and programming, equipment and Army future acquisitions. For active service, Army units are placed under the authority of the Chief of the Defense Staff CIMA, who is responsible to the President of France for planning for, and use, of forces. All soldiers are considered professionals following the suspension of conscription, voted in Parliament in 1997 and made effective in 2001. As of 2017, the French Army employed 117,000 personnel including the French Foreign Legion and the Paris Fire Brigade. In addition, the reserve element of the French Army consisted of 15,453 personnel of the operational reserve. In 1999, the army issued the Code of the French Soldier, which includes the injunctions. Topic: History. Topic: Early history. The first permanent army, paid with regular wages, instead of feudal levies, was established under Charles VII in the 1420-30s. The kings of France needed reliable troops during and after the Hundred Years' War. These units of troops were raised by issuing ordonnances to govern their length of service, composition and payment. These companies d'ordonnance formed the corps of the gendarme cavalry into the 16th century. Stationed throughout France and summoned into larger armies as needed. There was also provision made for Franks archers, units of bowmen and foot soldiers raised from the non-noble classes but these units were disbanded once war ended. The bulk of the infantry for warfare was still provided by urban or provincial militias, raised from an area or city to fight locally and named for their recruiting grounds. Gradually these units became more permanent, and in 1480s Swiss instructors were recruited and some of the bandus militia were combined to form temporary legions of up to 9,000 men. These men would be paid and contracted and receive training. Henry II further regularized the French army by forming standing infantry regiments to replace the militia structure. The first of these—the regiments de Picardy, Piedmont, Navarre and Champagne—were called Les Vieux Corps, the Old Corps. It was normal policy to disband regiments after a war was over as a cost-saving measure with the Vieux Corps and the King's own household troops the Maison du Roy being the only survivors. Regiments could be raised directly by the King and so called after the region in which they were raised, or by the nobility and so called after the noble or his appointed colonel. When Louis XIII came to the throne he disbanded most of the regiments in existence leaving only the Vieux and a handful of others which became known as the Petite Vieux and also gained the privilege of not being disbanded after a war. In 1684 there was a major reorganization of the French infantry and again in 1701 to fit in with Louis XIV's plans and the War of the Spanish Succession. This reshuffle created many of the modern regiments of the French army and standardized their equipment and tactics. The Army of the Sun King tended to wear grey-white coats with coloured linings. There were exceptions and the foreign troops, recruited from outside France, wore red Swiss, Irish, or blue Germans, Scots, while the French guards wore blue. In addition to these regiments of the line the Maison du Roy provided several elite units, the Swiss guards, French guards and the regiments of musketeers being the most famous. The white, grey-coated French infantry of the line Les Blancs with their Charleville muskets were a feared foe on the battlefields of the 17th and 18th centuries, fighting in the Nine Years' War, the wars of Spanish and Austrian succession, the Seven Years' War and the American Revolution. The revolution split the army with the main mass losing most of its officers to aristocratic flight or guillotine and becoming demoralized and ineffective. The French guard joined the revolt and the Swiss guards were massacred during the storming of the Tuileries Palace. The remnants of the Royal Army were then joined to the revolutionary militias known as sans culottes, and the National Guard, a more middle-class militia and police force, to form the French Revolutionary Army. 
From 1792, the French Revolutionary Army fought against various combinations of European powers, initially reliant on large numbers and basic tactics, it was defeated bloodily but survived and drove its opponents first from French soil and then overran several countries creating client states. Under Napoleon I, the French army conquered most of Europe during the Napoleonic Wars. Professionalizing again from the revolutionary forces and using columns of attack with heavy artillery support and swarms of pursuit cavalry the French army under Napoleon and his marshals was able to outmaneuver and destroy the Allied armies repeatedly until 1812. Napoleon introduced the concept of all arms corps, each one a traditional army in miniature, permitting the field force to be split across several lines of march and rejoin or to operate independently. The Grande Armée operated by seeking a decisive battle with each enemy army and then destroying them in detail before rapidly occupying territory and forcing a peace. In 1812 Napoleon marched on Moscow seeking to remove Russian influence from Eastern Europe and secure the frontiers of his empire and client states. The campaign initially went well but the vast distances of the Russian steppe and the cold winter forced his army into a shambling retreat preyed on by Russian raids and pursuit. The Grand Army of the 1812 campaign could not be replaced and with the ulcer of the ongoing Peninsular War against Britain and Portugal in Spain the French army was badly short of trained troops and French manpower was almost exhausted. After Napoleon's abdication and return, halted by an Anglo-Dutch and Prussian alliance at Waterloo, the French army was placed back under the restored Bourbon monarchy. The structure remained largely unchanged and many officers of the empire retained their positions. The long 19th century and the Second Empire The Bourbon Restoration was a time of political instability with the country constantly on the verge of political violence. The army was committed to a defense of the Spanish monarchy in 1824, achieving its aims in six months, but did not fully withdraw until 1828. In contrast to the earlier Napoleonic invasion, this expedition was rapid and successful. Taking advantage of the weakness of the Bay of Algiers France invaded in 1830 and again rapidly overcame initial resistance, the French government formally annexed Algeria but it took nearly 45 years to fully pacify the country. This period of French history saw the creation of the Armée d'Afrique, which included the French Foreign Legion. The army was now uniformed in dark blue coats and red trousers, which it would retain until the First World War. The news of the fall of Algiers had barely reached Paris in 1830 when the Bourbon monarchy was overthrown and replaced by the constitutional Orleans monarchy. The mobs proved too much for the troops of the Maison du Roy and the main body of the French army, sympathetic to the crowds, did not become heavily involved. In 1848 a wave of revolution swept Europe and brought an end to the Bourbon monarchy. The army was large uninvolved in the street fighting in Paris which overthrew the king but later in the year troops were used in the suppression of the more radical elements of the new republic which led to the election of Napoleon's nephew as president. The Pope had been forced out of Rome as part of the revolutions of 1848, and Louis Napoleon sent a 14,000-man expeditionary force of troops to the Papal State under General Nicholas Charles Victor Oudinot to restore him. In late April 1849, it was defeated and pushed back from Rome by Giuseppe Garibaldi's volunteer corps, but then recovered and recaptured Rome. The French army was among the first in the world to be issued with Minier rifles, just in time for the Crimean War against Russia, allied with Britain. This invention gave line infantry a weapon with a much longer range and greater accuracy and would lead to new flexible tactics. The French army was more experienced at mass maneuver and war fighting than the British and the reputation of the French army was greatly enhanced. A series of colonial expeditions followed and in 1856 France joined the Second Opium War on the British side against China, obtaining concessions. French troops were deployed into Italy against the Austrians, the first use of railways for mass movement. The French army was now considered to be an example to others and military missions to Japan and the emulation of French zouaves in other militaries added to this prestige. However an expedition to Mexico failed to create a stable puppet regime. In 1870 France was humiliated by defeat in the Franco-Prussian War. 
The army had far superior infantry weapons in the form of the chasse po and an early type of machine gun but its tactics were inferior and by allowing the invading German force the initiative the army was rapidly bottled up into its fortress towns and defeated. The loss of prestige within the army lead to a great emphasis on aggression and close quarter tactics. Early 20th century In August 1914, the French armed forces numbered 1,300,000 soldiers. During the Great War the French armed forces reached a size of 8,300,000 soldiers, of which about 300,000 came from the colonies. During the war around 1,397,000 French soldiers were killed in action, mostly on the Western Front. It was the most deadly conflict in French history. The main generals were, Joseph Joffrey, Ferdinand Foch, Charles Mangan, Philippe Payton, Robert Nivelle, Franchette Desperet and Maurice Sorail see French Army in World War I. At the beginning of the war, the French army was wearing the uniform of the Franco-Prussian War of 1870, but the uniform was unsuited to the trenches, and so in 1915 the French army replaced the uniform, with the Adrian helmet replacing the capi. A uniform with a capote, of blue horizon color adopted to the trenches, was adopted, and the uniform for colonial soldiers colored khaki. At the beginning of World War II the French army deployed 2,240,000 combatants grouped into 94 divisions of which 20 were active and 74 were reservists from the Swiss border to the North Sea. These numbers did not include the Army of the Alps facing Italy and 600,000 men dispersed through the French colonial empire are not included in this figure. After defeat in 1940, the Vichy French regime was allowed to retain 100-120,000 personnel in unoccupied France, and larger forces in the French Empire, more than 220,000 in Africa including 140,000 in French North Africa, and forces in Mandate Syria and French Indochina. After 1945, despite enormous efforts in the First Indochina War of 1945–54 and the Algerian War of 1954–62, both lands eventually left French control. French units stayed in Germany after 1945, forming the French forces in Germany, 5th Armoured Division stayed on in Germany after 1945, while 1st and 3rd Armoured Divisions were established in Germany in 1951. However NATO assigned formations were withdrawn to fight in Algeria, 5th Armoured Division was withdrawn in 1956. From 1948 to 1966, many French army units fell under the integrated NATO military command structure. Commander-in-Chief Allied Forces Central Europe was a French army officer, and many key NATO staff positions were filled by Frenchmen. While an upper limit of 14 French divisions committed to NATO had been set by the Treaty of Paris, the total did not exceed six divisions during the Indochina War, and during the Algerian War the total fell as low as two divisions. The Army created two parachute divisions in 1956, the 10th Parachute Division under the command of General Jacques Massou and the 25th Parachute Division under the command of General Sauvignac. After the Algiers Putsch, the two divisions, with the 11th Infantry Division, were merged into a new Light Intervention Division, the 11th Light Intervention Division, on 1 May 1961. Decolonization At the end of World War II France was immediately confronted with the beginnings of the decolonization movement. The French army, which had employed indigenous North African Spahis and Tirailleurs in almost all of its campaigns since 1830, was the leading force in opposition to decolonization, which was perceived as a humiliation. In Algeria the army repressed an extensive rising in and around Setif in May 1945 with heavy fire. Figures for Algerian deaths vary between 45,000 as claimed by Radio Cairo at the time and the official French figure of 1,020. The army saw maintaining control of Algeria as a high priority. By this time, one million French settlers had established themselves, alongside an indigenous population of 9 million. When it decided that politicians were about to sell them out and give independence to Algeria, the army engineered a military coup that toppled the civilian government and put General de Gaulle back in power in the May 1958 crisis. De Gaulle, however, recognized that Algeria was a dead weight and had to be cut free. Four retired generals then launched the Algiers Putsch of 1961 against de Gaulle himself, but it failed. 
After 400,000 deaths, Algeria finally became independent. Hundreds of thousands of Harkis, Muslims loyal to Paris, went into exile in France, where they and their children and grandchildren remain in poorly assimilated Banlou suburbs. The army repressed the Malagasy uprising in Madagascar in 1947. French officials estimated the number of Malagasy killed from a low of 11,000 to a French army estimate of 89,000. Cold War era During the Cold War, the French army, though not part of NATO's military command structure, planned for the defense of Western Europe. In 1977 the French army switched from multi-brigade divisions to smaller divisions of about four to five battalions, regiments each. From the early 1970s, Second Army Corps was stationed in South Germany, and effectively formed a reserve for NATO's Central Army Group. In the 1980s, Third Army Corps headquarters was moved to Lille and planning started for its use in support of NATO's Northern Army Group. The Rapid Action Force of five light divisions, including the new 4th Airmobile and 6th Light Armored Divisions, was also intended as a NATO reinforcement force. In addition, the 152nd Infantry Division was maintained to guard the S-3 Intercontinental Ballistic Missile Base on the Plateau d'Albion. In the 1970s to 1980s, two light armored divisions were planned to be formed from school staffs the 12th and 14th. The 12th Light Armored Division 12 DLB was to have its headquarters to be formed on the basis of the Staff of the Armored and Cavalry Branch Training School French acronym EAABC at Sommer. In the late 1970s an attempt was made to form 14 Reserve Light Infantry Divisions, but this plan, which included the recreation of the 109th Infantry Division, was too ambitious. The planned divisions included the 102nd, 104E, 107E, 108E, 109E, 110E, 111E, 112E, 114E, 115th, and 127th Infantry Divisions. From June 1984, the French Army Reserve consisted of 22 military divisions, administering all reserve units in a certain area, seven brigades de zone de defense, 22 regiments interarmies divisionnaires, and the 152nd Infantry Division, defending the ICBM launch sites. The plan was put into action from 1985, and brigades de zone, such as the 107th Brigade de zone, were created. But with the putting in place of the Reserves 2000, plan, the brigades de zone were finally disbanded by mid-1993. Post-Cold War era First Army Corps was disbanded on 1 July 1990. In February 1996 the President of the Republic decided on a transition to a professional service force, and as part of the resulting changes, ten regiments were dissolved in 1997. The specialized support brigades were transferred on 1 July 1997 to Luneville for the Signals, Haganah the Artillery Brigade and Strasbourg Engineers. The 2nd Armored Division left Versailles on 1 September 1997 and was installed at Chalonne and Champagne in place of the disbanding 10th Armored Division. On 5 March 1998, in view of the ongoing structural adoptions of the French Army, the Minister of Defense decided to disband 3rd Corps, and the dissolution became effective 1 July 1998. The headquarters transitioned to become Headquarters Commandement de la Force d'Action Terrestre CFAT, the Land Forces Action Command. During the late 1990s, during the professionalization process, numbers dropped from the 236,000 conscripts in 1996 to around 140,000. By June 1999, the Army's strength had dropped to 186,000, including around 70,000 conscripts. 38 of 129 regiments were planned to be stood down from 1997 to 99. The previous structure's nine small divisions and sundry separate combat and combat support brigades were replaced by nine combat and four combat support brigades. The Rapid Action Force, a corps of five small rapid intervention divisions formed in 1983, was also disbanded, though several of its divisions were resubordinated. War on Terror 
Operation Sentinel is a French military operation with 10,000 soldiers and 4,700 police and gendarmes deployed since the aftermath of the January 2015 Ile de France attacks, with the objective of protecting sensitive points of the territory from terrorism. It was reinforced during the November 2015 Paris attacks, and is part of an ongoing state of emergency in France due to continued terror threats and attacks. Structure and organization The organization of the Army is fixed by Chapter 2 of Title II of Book II of the Third Part of the Code of Defense, notably resulting in the codification of Decree 2000-559 of 21 June 2000, in terms of Article R.3222-3 of the Code of Defense, the Army comprises the Army Chief of Staff Chef d'État Major de l'Armée de Terre CEMAT The Army Staff L'État Major de l'Armée de Terre or EMAT which gives general direction and management of all the components The Army Inspectorate L'Inspection de l'Armée de Terre The Army Human Resources Directorate La Direction des Ressources Humaines de l'Armée de Terre or DRHAT The Forces a territorial organization seven regions, see below. The services The personnel training and military higher training organisms, the French Army was reorganized in 2016. The new organization consists of two combined divisions carrying the heritage of 1st Armored and 3rd Armored Divisions and given three combat brigades to supervise each. There is also the Franco-German Brigade. The 4th Airmobile Brigade was reformed to direct the three combat helicopter regiments. There are also several division level specialized commands including intelligence, information and communication systems, maintenance, logistics, special forces, army light aviation, foreign legion, national territory, training. Topic: <laughs> Arms of the French Army. The army is divided into arms, arms. They include the troops de marine, the armored cavalry arm, armée blindée cavalry, the artillery, the engineering arm, l'armée du génie, the infantry, which includes the chasseurs alpins, specialist mountain infantry, matériel matériel, logistics, train, signals, transmissions. Parachute units are maintained by several of the arms. The Légion étranger French Foreign Legion was established in 1831 for foreign nationals willing to serve in the French armed forces. The Legion is commanded by French officers. It is an elite military unit numbering around 7,000 troops. The Legion has gained worldwide recognition for its service, most recently in Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan since 2001. It is not strictly an armé but a commandement particulier, whose regiments belong to several arms, notably the infantry and the engineering arm. The troops de marine are the former colonial troops of the French army. They are the first choice units for overseas deployment and recruit on this basis. They are composed of marine infantry infantry de marine which includes parachute regiments such as one or RPIMA and a tank unit, the RICM and the marine artillery artillery de marine. The Aviation Légère de l'Armée de Terre a lat, which translates as Army Light Aviation, was established on of November 1954 for observation, reconnaissance, assault and supply duties. It operates numerous helicopters in support of the French Army, its primary attack helicopter is the Eurocopter Tiger, of which 80 were ordered. It is an armée with a commandement particulier. Administrative services On the administrative side, there are now no more than one direction and two services. The Army Human Resources Directorate manages human resources military and civilian of the Army in training. The two services are the service of ground equipment, and the Integrated Structure of Operational Maintenance of Terrestrial Materials SIMMT, former DCMAT. This joint-oriented service is responsible for project management support for all land equipment of the French Army. The holding operational equipment the Army is headed by the Service de Maintenance Industrielle Terrestre SMITER. Historically there were other services of the Army who were all grouped together with their counterparts in other components to form joint agencies serving the entire French Armed Forces. 
After the Health Service and the Service of Species replaced respectively by the French Defence Health Service and Military Fuel Service, other services have disappeared in recent years. In 2005, the Army Historical Service became the land department of the Defence Historical Service Service Historique de la Défense. In September 2005, the Central Engineering Directorate Direction Centrale du Génie, DCG, was merged with its counterparts in the Air Force and the Navy to form the Central Directorate of Defense Infrastructure Direction Centrale du Service d'Infrastructure de la Défense. On 1 January 2006, the Central Directorate of Telecommunications and Informatics DCTEI was incorporated into the Central Directorate of the Joint Directorate of Infrastructure Networks and Information Systems DIRISI. .The Army Commissariat was dissolved on 31 December 2009 and integrated into the Joint Service Service du Commissariat des Armées. There is the Diocese of the French Armed Forces which provides pastoral care to Catholic members of the Army. It is headed by Luc Ravel and is headquartered in Les Invalides. Topic: Military Regions. For many years up to 19 military regions were active. CFR: Région Militaire. The 10th Military Region, France, supervised French Algeria during the Algerian War. However, by the 1980s the number had been reduced to six, the 1st Military Region France with its headquarters in Paris, the 2nd Military Region France at Lille, the 3rd Military Region France at Rennes, the 4th Military Region France at Bordeaux, the 5th and 6th at Lyons and Metz respectively. Each supervised up to five division militaire territorial, military administrative subdivisions, in 1984 sometimes supervising up to three reserve regiments each. Today, under the latest thorough reform of the French security and defence sector, there are seven FR, zone de défense et de sécurité each with a territorial ground army region, Paris or Ile de France, HQ in Paris, Nord HQ in Lille, West HQ in Rennes, Sud-West HQ in Bordeaux, Sud HQ in Marseille, Sud-Est HQ in Lyon, Est HQ in Strasbourg. Personnel Topic <inaudible> Soldiers <inaudible> There are two types of enlistment for French Army soldiers Volontaire de l'Armée de Terre VDAT Volunteer of the Army one year contract renewable Engagé volontaire de l'Armée de Terre Evet Armed Forces Volunteer 3 or 5 years contract renewable Topic: Non-commissioned officers. NCOs serve on permanent contracts or exceptionally on renewable five years contracts. NCO candidates are either evit or direct entry civilians. High school diploma giving access to university as a requirement. École nationale des sous officiers d'active (ENSOA) basic NCO school of eight months, followed by combat school of four to thirty-six weeks, depending on occupational specialty. A small number of NCO candidates are trained at the École militaire de haute montagne (EMHM) high mountain military school. NCOs with the Advanced Army Technician Certificate (BSTAT) can serve as platoon leaders. Topic. Officers Career officers Career officers serve on permanent contracts. Direct entry cadets with two years of class préparatoire aux grandes écoles or a bachelor's degree spend three years at École Spatiale Militaire de Saint-Cyr and graduates as first lieutenant. Direct entry cadets with a master's degree spend one year at ESM, and graduates as first lieutenant. Noncommissioned officer with three years in the Army, spend two years at École Militaire Interarms, and graduates as first lieutenant. Fifty percent of the commissioned officers in the French Army are former NCOs, contract officers Contract officers serves on renewable contracts for a maximum of 20 years service. A bachelor's degree is required. There are two different programs, combat officers and specialist officers. Officers in both programs graduates as second lieutenants and may reach lieutenant colonel's rank. 
Combat officers spend six months at ESM, followed by one year at a combat school. Specialist officers spend three months at ESM, followed by a year of on-the-job training within an area of specialization determined by the type of degree held. Women Civilian women were hired by the French army in the First World War, thereby opening new opportunities for them, forcing a redefinition of military identity, and revealing the strength of anti-republicanism within the army. Officers by the 1920s accepted women as part of their institution. <laughs> <laughs> Equipment Topic. Uniform In the 1970s, France adopted a light beige dress uniform which is worn with colored kepis, sashes, fringed epaulettes, fourragères and other traditional items on appropriate occasions. The most commonly worn parade dress however consists of camouflage uniforms worn with the dress items noted above. The camouflage pattern, officially called Center Europe CE, draws heavily on the coloration incorporated into the USM-81 woodland design, but with a thicker and heavier striping. A desert version called the Daguette has been worn since the First Gulf War which consist of large irregular areas of chestnut brown and light gray on a sand khaki base. The legionnaires of the French Foreign Legion wear white kepis, blue sashes and green and red epaulettes as dress uniform, while the troops de marine wear blue and red kepis and yellow epaulettes. The pioneers of the French Foreign Legion wear the basic legionnaire uniform but with leather aprons and gloves. The chasseur alpins wear a large beret, known as the tarte, the pie, with dark blue or white mountain outfits. The spahis retain the long white cloak or burnous of the regiment's origin as North African cavalry. Gendarmes of the Republican Guard retain their late 19th-century dress uniforms, as do the military cadets of St. Cyr and the École Polytechnique. A dark blue, black evening dress is authorized for officers and individual branches or regiments may parade bands or fanfares in historic dress dating as far back as the Napoleonic period. <laughs> 